Hello. 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 Hello, yeah, Hello. welcome. Uh, yeah. Can you hear us? Strangely, only, only we, we cannot hear you. Yeah, please turn on your microphone. Okay, now we can. Okay. So, okay. yeah. So, uh, so I go and share the screen. Well, yeah, wait a bit. So people, yes, uh, yeah, uh, let's try first. But I think more participants will come. But we start not. Okay. At, uh, 17 p.m. sharp, a little bit later. Okay, no problem. Yeah. Because people usually come a few minutes later. Mm -hmm. Anyway, anyway, there there is no problem. I have the time, <laughs> really. Thank you. So so anyway, I have to I have to to thank you for this invitation because we as as you probably understood we we are actually developing uh, a big uh, a big problem uh, a big program on, on these uh, on these hierarchies so it's uh, it's a way to to say where we are and uh, <laughs> and uh, but may but uh, soon there, there will be other other things that I will be able to, to to talk about. But anyway, it's the state of the art of what I can say. <laughs> okay. No. Yeah, yeah, that's interesting. <laughs> A moment. So most of uh, participants of our seminar are now in China. <laughs> so it's, ah, it's a bit late. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, as you can see, it's deep light here, late night, like 10 p.m. <laughs> Moreover, we are in different cities, all of us. Sasha yeah, is yeah. In I'm in Guangzhou, Jiran is, uh, I think, in Kunming. So, <laughs> and uh, Junhu is probably in Beijing as well. Uh, so, only five of participants. Yeah. Are from Moscow, yeah. Five, oh, and uh, the new, they are from Moscow. I can see. And Varant, I think Varant is from Tehran, so we are all over the world. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, it's a, it's a, it's a good point of his uh, of of his seminars that are that are online. Uh, yeah. In principle, it's better to meet uh, physically, but when it is impossible, 
uh, it's good anyway to to be able to exchange. Yeah, correct. Okay, I think we can start now, right? Okay, uh, if you want. What do you think, Sasha? What do you think, Sasha? Can we start? Uh, well, I think maybe a couple of uh, pair of other participants okay. can join. For example, uh, Pavel, another Pavel. It's my student, but uh, well, anyway, we can start. I think he will join a little bit later. So, our uh, today's speaker is. I'm glad to introduce our today's speaker, Jean Pierre Magnot from uh, La Rema, Université d'Angers, France. And he is going to talk about a zoo. A well posed generalized scadum to fit rest really hierarchies. And there, well, okay, let's just the half Shabbat equations. <laughs> let's skip the formula. Okay, so uh, first of all, uh, now I, uh, I can say officially thank you for this invitation. Uh, so, uh, uh, contrary uh, to what I uh, Said, uh, what, to what I said in my abstract, I will not start with, di directly with, uh, with uh, hierarchies, but I will give, let's say, some, uh, some preliminaries that are uh, good to say in order to, to better, for better understanding, let's say. So, the, for, for this talk, uh, I, I will first introduce the theoretical framework that I must use for, uh, for, this, uh, for the results that I will uh, expose. The, the, the framework is the framework of differential spaces, which is a, a way to define a differential geometry and a differentiation in a very wide range of applications. Uh, this is let's say, generalize differential geometry. And this framework is so, is so flexible that we can apply to it, to my opinion, uh, really to any, uh, any algebraic setting without, uh, without tears, let's say. So uh, the, 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 the algebraic setting that is under consideration here is the setting of uh, differential algebras that I will assume to be diffeological. That is, I will assume that there are smooth uh, objects on it. So this is this smoothness that I, uh, that I will apply all along the talk. And in these diffeological algebras, uh, I will define pseudo differential operators and the, uh, the key tool, uh, that is, uh, uh, important for the, for the KP hierarchy, it is, uh, Moulaze groups. So after that, I will go to, uh, to generalized KP hierarchy. So generalized means that uh, I can take uh, any dif differential algebra and uh, I will state well posedness. So I, ha I will have a discussion on, uh, on, uh, well, on what is well posedness in this setting. And actually we have two proofs which are, um, which are published. Uh, I, I will uh, analyze these proofs and I will announce another proof which will fill the gaps that are present that are present in one of them. And I will make a, a slight digression on uh, the, the assumption of the presence of a, of a SATO operator. Then the, uh, the biggest part of, the, of this talk uh, will be the first se section where uh, I will give examples, not only of, of hierarchies, but on the de derived Kadomsev Pedjagvili equations that we can that we can get. So I will recall how we get them, 
by uh, Zakharov Chabat equations. And I will give some examples on commutative algebras and on non commutative algebras. Uh, all these uh, results are mostly, well, most of these results, let's say, are obtained by, uh, we, in collaboration with uh, Enrique Reyes and uh, Volodya Rupstov. Uh, this is a work in progress. So there will be new results, let's say, soon. Let's start with diffeology. So, uh, what is a diffeology? It's, uh, it is, roughly speaking, a set of, of, of uh, maps from an open uh, subset of uh, an Euclidean space to a set, which are assumed to be smooth. So, uh, so uh, of course, uh, if you say so, you must assume some kind of uh, compatibility conditions on, on these maps. These are uh, the conditions that are here. Um, so uh, the constant map needs to be, uh, needs to be smooth. Uh, we must uh, have a property on composition and on gluing. Here I, I have put composition after gluing, but anyway. So this is uh, quite uh, a quite natural extension of the of the, of a definition of an atlas of, of a manifold. This uh, this setting has been first developed in a, in a rather uh, restricted way by uh, by Chen, and then completed by Suryo in the eighties. With this at hand, uh, we have uh, a diffeological space, which is uh, a set X and the set of all these maps that are said to be smooth, which are called parametrization, which explains the P. Then, uh, what is a smooth map? Well, a smooth map sends smooth parametrizations to smooth parametrizations. It's a, it is very natural. Then we have pullback. It is, uh, one point which is very interesting for us in this talk is that when you take any, uh, any uh, Cartesian product, uh, you have a, a product diffeology which is much more flexible than the product topology. So, it enables to 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 make some uh, some uh, so, some calculations on uh, in frameworks which are not accessible for to, to classical topology. Uh, so there is a subset topology for subsets of a of a diffeological space. Here, contrarily to 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 smooth manifolds, when you where you have to to get transversality, you have to get uh, some kind of uh, complements uh, on the tangent space and so on. Here, no problem. You have the subset diffeology in any case. And finally, uh, any algebraic operation can be made into uh, a diffeological way. That is, if you have a multiplication or an addition, then it is a bilinear map or, uh, or, uh, or a map from a Cartesian product into uh, a diffeological space. You just assume that it is smooth. So this is, uh, <laughs> this is very easy to, to define all the diffeological al algebraic uh, uh, constructions. One point which is not really, really uh, 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 deeply uh, involved in our, in our in our in this talk, but I have to mention it. In, on a diffeological algebra, if the group of the units, the group of the, the invertible uh, 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 elements, has a different. Diffeology uh, than the, the diffeology, the subset diffeology. So there are some, let's say, technical tools 
after uh, the apparent simplicity of uh, of the setting but this is due to the to the very wild uh, 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 the, ver the very wide possibilities to to apply to this setting so now let's go to pseudo differential operator so uh, i will take um uh a dif uh, differential uh algebra which is associative with a with a unit element and uh, which is over a field which is also a diffeological field so uh, so uh, all the, the algebraic operations are assumed to be smooth and on this uh, with this uh, algebra we can define um, the, the algebra formal pseudo differential operators so as usual um, why uh, why is it uh, a diffeological space because it is a subset of a power z, power z and we and the, the classical splitting is just a splitting in the Cartesian product, so it is also smooth. Then, when we look at the at the at the addition and at the multiplication, then this is uh, this is smooth also because of the smoothness of the of the, of, of the algebraic uh, structures on A. And uh, if we have a, a smooth inversion in A star uh, with the restrictions that I mentioned before, then uh, we can give a, a smoothness for all the, all the, all the basic uh, algebraic operations on the, on the algebra of, of pseudo differential operators. So it is also a differential unital uh, algebra. Uh, sorry, maybe uh, could you give some specific example of a differential field or differential associative algebra, uh, which is unusual, which is unusual in the sense of uh, uh, commonly used mathematics. Ah, I see. Yeah. So um, uh, uh, I will give some examples uh, maybe after, because okay. in all my examples I can uh, I can give some which are uh, which are not accessible for uh, for let's say infinite products of uh, let's say Banach algebras and so on. So uh, there will be examples. So okay. this is only to, to say here I, I just give a theoretical uh, overview and then uh, in the examples it will be more clear. Okay, thank you. So the groups uh, defined by Moulazé, so uh, we take a, a countable family of uh, formal variables and take evaluation on this set and take uh, the formal series. Uh, so uh, there are uh, algebras which are defined on, uh, on this formal series. So this is a very classical stuff. Uh, I take here the, the definitions by Moulazé. Um, uh, the set D hat is is actually let's say the set of a series of of a series of differential type while while uh, psi hat is uh, is a full set of pseudo differential series so these series are controlled by uh, by the valuation and by the degree in the derivation uh, and these algebras, uh, the, the algebra psi hat, psi hat is also differential algebra, as well as d hat. So uh, uh, after that, uh, we we analyze, we can analyze the uh, the cross product 
of uh, of the corresponding groups and uh, there is uh, uh, there is uh, there is uh, the, the, uh, there is a decomposition by uh, by Mulazé, which is smooth, which means that uh, the map uh, which sets uh, which sends uh, an element u of psi hat star to s and y is smooth. So we see we uh, we sub, we again this appears. Uh, quite uh, abstractly, but uh, again, in the in the in the examples, it will be more clear uh, what happens. So uh, let's go to the uh, KP hierarchy. So uh, here I, I recall the, the the equations. I take as an initial condition. Classically, uh, an element uh, L, L, L0, which is D plus uh, uh, an operator in, in the integral part. And, uh, and the solution, actually, uh, which is uh, constructed by, uh, by uh, along the lines of the works of, uh, of Rayman and uh, Semenov Tianchansky, consists in splitting a, sp a specific operator, uh, operator u into, into this decomposition and the, the algebraic properties of the, of the equation and of the groups uh, allows to, to define the, 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 operator, uh, the operator L, which is a formal solution of the, of the equation. Sorry, can so, you please repeat this S and Y? Just repeat. So S is uh, okay. I must go uh, just one page before. Yeah, it was the previous S, S is the S is the decomposition of U in U is in psi hat star. Yeah. Mm -hmm. S is in G. G is one plus psi, uh, psi d o minus one of a hat. Yeah, and mm -hmm. and uh, d hat it uh, it uh, it is a component y. So these are differential parts. Mostly S is a series of of uh, Sato like operators, and y is a is a series of differential uh, like operators. Okay. Mm -hmm. This is a, this is a R matrix decomposition. In fact, I did not want to to go into the details, oh. but it is typically the splitting. It is the splitting which is. Uh, uh, oh, sorry. No, no, no. It's before. Um, the splitting which is here on psi do goes to psi do hat psi do star. It is the it is it is mostly the the works which are uh, present in uh, in uh, Moulaz paper uh, which are which are uh, made uh, there so this, uh, when you look at all these operations so all uh, till uh, till our first first works with uh, with uh, Enrique Reyes we the, all these uh, decompositions were uh, were purely algebraic so there was no chance to say that the, 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 the solution L was uh, smoothly dependent on the initial condition L0. But uh, what we remarked, the, our first remark, was that if we apply, uh, if we apply the, uh, the infinite product diffeology to the classical setting, which is uh, the setting where uh, A is the algebra of uh, smooth functions from S1 to R, then the, 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 results for, uh, the result falls very quickly. All the, uh, the, the algebraic operations are smooth. And then we, ha we have smooth dependence of the solution that is constructed. So, uh, 
this is uh, this is uh, around this uh, this theorem that I uh, that I will make some some comments because you see that here I state the existence of a solution which is dependent which is smoothly dependent on the initial condition but uh, when you are looking at the proofs in fact it was uh, commonly uh, accepted that this solution this solution was unique uh, and that we uh, we need to uh, consider l0 in a restrict restricted class of operators and all this uh, i i will give some uh, some comments on that. so first let's get to this theorem and and let's go to the proofs so before that i will get i will i will give the, i will comment two proofs but uh, i i have to announce that I will get, uh, we are about to pre-publish pre a third proof. In fact, the, the pre-publication is not uh, really, uh, is, 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 is actually about to be finished, but we could not finish it before the, before this talk. But, uh, um, a third proof, which is, uh, which is based on, um, let's say forgotten things. Uh, in, the, in all this theory, and uh, we have a, a more general proof uh, where we can state the existence, uniqueness, well posedness uh, very directly. So, uh, before that, let's go to uh, the first historical proof. Uh, but, so, I, 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 here I mentioned the, the names of uh, of uh, persons who are, uh, who, are uh, who did it historically, Moulazé, Rayman, and Semnov Tjankansky. Uh, this is, uh, this is a, a proof which, uh, which can be uh, extended to, uh, from a smooth, from the algebra of smooth functions from S1 to R with a classical derivation to any uh, any di uh, differential algebra, uh, but uh, there are some gaps uh, for uniqueness if we try to extend it. So uh, this is quite satisfactory because we have a construction, the explicit construction of the uh, of a solution. Uh, we have smooth dependence. Uh, but uh, but uh, when we looked at the at the proof of uniqueness which uh, which was furnished by uh, by in uh, in uh, the, the paper by Moulazé in uh, 1880 uh, we saw that uh, it it was not feasible for uh, for general setting and it considered restricted cases. So uh, there was a gap here. Uh, we saw that uh, for, uh, for a, a review of our results that is to appear in, a contem in contemporary mathematics. <clears throat> Sorry, I'd like to yes. understand again. So uh, you mean there was a gap to generalize some losses proof to the diffeological yes. setting, yeah. So it yes. works only yes. in informal, uh, informal situation, right? No, no, no. no. Uh, the construction wo works in any situ situation. The construction of the operator L, which is a proof, which is a, a, a solution of uh, of a, uh, of a KP hierarchy, it is always valid. It's smooth dependence. It is always valid. Yeah. But when you when you look at uh, at at the arguments by Moulazé, they were they were working only if the, the initial condition was in uh, was uh, such that as, uh, well this initial condition at the moment. This one. 
S0 equals to S0 D S0 yeah. minus 1, where S0 is a SATO operator. Uh, this condition is necessary in, uh, in, the, in the paper by Moulazi. Mm -hmm. So since here we do not assume that, L0 can be anything in the, in the algebra that we mentioned. And it is really not clear that we can get a SATO operator for any initial condition. Especially, especially, yeah, especially for for general setting. <laughs> okay, but what is the difficulty? I mean, if you take any L zero, why it's not possible to do this uh, usual things from short theory? Take a root and then uh, construct a conjugation operator. So what is ah. the uh, you need to you need to to have a, a non-formal d minus one. The, deri the derivation must be integrated. The, you must have an integration operator. A true ah, integration mean, ah, operator. Ah, yeah, you mean that in your ink uh, yeah, not a formal your, one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So in not in formal or ink. I mean, in your diffeological ring, it's not always possible, right? Yes. And, and, okay. When, okay. and uh, even on on S1, if you if you want such an operator, you, you do not need S1 as a source for the maps. You, you need R. Mm -hmm. Because otherwise you otherwise you have these problems of his, of integration, which which does not go to the loop, but to the to the to, to the mm. real line, so so mm. there are so, there are some problems here okay. uh, for the, for for the definition of the SATO operator. Oh, okay. But okay. yeah, so so here uh, uh, the first uh, the first remark that we can make is that the construction of L does not uh, does not depend at all of S zero, so we can do it directly first point second point uh, the the proofs by unique of uniqueness are based on the let's say historical assumption of the, of the presence of s0 mm. and it is really when you see the papers it is really a, a historical condition mm. uh, because because the first investigations were were looking for such an operator so, so this is the first clarification that we that we need to say. The, the operator S zero is is not necessary for for the, for the integration, let's say, of, of the hierarchy. But with the actual published proofs, uh, it uh, we are no longer sure of uniqueness except on restricted case. Okay, so uh, that, that that means that. Uh... You don't want to work with the equivalent Sato Wilson hierarchy, right? You consider only no. KP. Okay. Okay. <laughs> and there are no such an equivalence, right? <laughs> in, in this in <laughs> uh, it's a good question. Maybe we can discuss about it. <laughs> I think that we cannot say no directly. Okay. But but uh, there needs we, we need imagination to get the link. Uh, it is not straightforward. Okay. But you know, when when there, when there are su such settings which are generalized, uh, there are many things that become di disconnected uh, while they are the same in the original uh, framework. So uh, you have to distinguish uh, among what is important and not, and so on. So this is an open question, but. I think it is it is a, a very interesting question. Yeah, thank you. Um, okay, so le, le, uh, so so this first proof, let's say, has a gap for you for uniqueness, which will be uh, 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 there will be no gap in let's say one month <laughs> when, when the paper, when the third proof will be published. We we tr we manage to to fill the gap, but. Again, not so, not too quickly, not quickly enough for this talk. 
Second proof, well, this, this proof is only for commutative diffeological algebras because it is a, a really new proof that we produced with uh, Enrique Reyes in 2020. In fact, for the little history, it, it was produced in, in 2016. But the time for the journal to find a referee who, who wants to understand diffeologies and, and appreciate the work, it took four years. So, uh, what, what is it? <laughs> what is it about? Uh, you remember that uh, 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 associated to the KP hierarchy, there are these Zakharov Shabbat equations, which are zero curv curvature equations, which, uh, which says that in, uh, in the, in the, in a prescribed vocabulary, it, these are integrable equations and so on, but for, for a geometer, uh, a zero curvature equation, Uh, on over uh, a contractible space means a global section. For this, we need a principal bundle. And the principal bundle that we have to take is the principal bundle of uh, a series of SATO operators. And then, When you look at this, uh, this, uh, this set, you really have at the base the, uh, the series with coefficients in the, in, oh, sorry, in the scalar field. R is the scalar field. Uh, there is a misprint. And the, group, and the structure group is, is simply the group of, uh, of SATO operators. So you see here, I assume that uh, there are SATO operators that are interesting. This proof only uh, is only valid for uh, when uh, when the initial value will be only valid when initial values are depending on the SATO operator. But when you assume that, uh, you could you could say formally that okay, uh, this group uh, this group of SATO operators is. Uh, Is, a, is an exponential Lie group and uh, it is regular that, uh, in the sense that there is an exponential uh, which, in, uh, which truly integrates and so on and so on and say, okay, we are done. No, it is not as, as simple as, as that, uh, but uh, there, are some, uh, there are some needs, uh, technical needs, uh, we need uh, to, to, code, to To turn around them, you need to make a scaling. So Tn becomes h power n Tn, and uh, d uh, becomes hd. So h is a, let's say, formal parameter. And with this construction, we have another uh, Kp hierarchy that I call deformed Kp hierarchy. I produced it. In a, in, a, in, a power, in a paper before in, a, in 2013, 13, yes. And with this construction, uh, the, uh, the Ambrose Singer theorem applies. So, the, so considering a base point, uh, here we take it at, uh, at t equals to zero, uh, we can produce Uh, we can produce first a, 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 a first global section of, for a prescribed uh, for a prescribed choice of uh, L 0 and then uh, and then we can apply some algebraic uh, uh, arguments again from notes by Moulaze, forgotten notes by Moulaze, again him. And then get get a, a global section for any initial condition. Since uh, these uh, since these are uh, deformed solution, then we have to take the jets and assume that not uh, no, sorry again a, a mystery, not u but h equals to one to get, to come back to the to the standard KP. So this. Uh, This is a this is a procedure which is rather long, but which ensures 
uh, existence, uniqueness, and well-posedness in the case of a commutative diophological algebra. Uh, if we assume that the, 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 the algebra has enough diophological properties to get the exponential. So this is a technical part again, which I skipped in, the, in my talk because my talk is not on diophologies, but roughly speaking, if, we, if you have a complete uh, commutative algebra, it works. That's, uh, that's the point. So this is the second proof. But uh, as you see, this proof uh, was not really satisfying because uh, because uh, we we have uh, non-commutative uh, algebras to which uh, we would like to apply our setting. So this was really a good point to to to, to find finally this uh, uh, this uh, third proof that I had announced. So. Why uh, uh, I would like to 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 make a, a digression now, because you see I talked about a deformed KP hierarchy. So there is a, a big panel of deformed KP hierarchy in the literature, uh, which are uh, which are more or less interesting from one point, one viewpoint or another. Why is it interesting this deformed KP hierarchy? Because okay, okay, because uh, because uh, uh, the, uh, when you uh, when you look when you look at uh, at this deformed KP hierarchy, you 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 find it back by considering a non-formal problem. Take a, 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 a SATO operator S zero. Take a, uh, an orientation preserving diffeomorphism G and, and take the and take the adjoint action of S0 on G. Not uh, so uh, here we uh, I have to precise that we are not in the in the in the case of Egorov theorem where where, uh, where the, the pseudo differential operator is is uh, inside. And the and the diffeomorphism is outside. Here it is the converse. So I say non-formal SATO operator because it is a true operator, a true pseudo differential operator, non-formal. Then when you when you look at that, then you uh, up to up to up to rearrangements of uh, of uh, of the Taylor expansion of what you get, you get again a, K, a, a dressing operator for a non-formal KP hierarchy, which is H deformed. The parameter H appears here as the, the formal parameter of the Taylor expansion of the maps. So it is really amazing to see that we we were puzzled to see that, but we but uh, but the the, uh, the the point is that this formal hierarchy is is really um, is really linked with a non-formal uh, object, and even more, this non this KP hierarchy for non-formal pseudo differential operators is integrable and there is the same construction. So this is a preprint uh, with uh, Enrique Reyes. Uh, it is submitted. We are waiting for the, <laughs> for the feedback. Uh, but uh, but uh, it says that uh, we may look at, uh, again, other classes of uh, KP hierarchies which are not in the scope of what I am saying here. That is, we are out of uh, the, we are out of what we can reach with uh, the proofs that uh, that I mentioned here. Mm. So, uh, sorry, but uh, I'd like to understand. Uh, you said that S zero is a non-formal set operator, but so the differential operator. Uh, in what sense? You mean this uh, setup of uh, Siegel-Wilson paper? Mm, or, uh, 
something else. Okay. Okay. So if you want some some precision, let, let me let me let me uh, uh, let me explain. Uh, but it, it will not be in few words. Yes. Uh -huh. So uh, the Sato the Sato operator as zero can be understood. As uh, as uh, an element of uh, of this uh, of this ideal, which is which is considered in uh, in uh, Presley, Seagal, Wilson uh, construction, that is uh, identity plus a Hilbert Schmidt operator, because it is one plus uh, operator of order minus one. Mm -hmm. But uh, but uh, when I say non-formal, it is because it is a true operator. That is, when you when you consider the the theory of uh, non-formal pseudo-differential operators, these are true operators which have a, a, a kernel smooth of diagonal and uh, which have a symbol, and the symbol has is equivalent up to. A smoothing up a, a smoothing symbol to uh, to the symbols that you consider that we considered here. Mm -hmm. So this is this is another part. It is not it is not uh, algebraic or geometric theory of of uh, of uh, of uh, PDEs. It is global analysis here. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, and and this uh, this s zero is uh, is of order minus one, so it is not only only a Hilbert Schmidt operator, but it is in the Dixme idea ideal uh, L one plus mm. of uh, of uh, operators uh, which uh, trace is di diverging, but di but diverging with uh, uh, with, uh, uh, with respect to a uh, a logarithmic expansion. Mm -hmm. So, okay. uh, well, so, so this is uh, this is such uh, uh, an operator. Did I did I did I answer to your to your question? Yes, yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you for. It. Okay, thank you. Okay, so uh, uh, so this is one uh, one remark that I wanted to to say here. We are not done with all the the possible settings, e even if uh, what uh, what I am giving here as a as an extended setting it, it seems to be very large. Uh, okay, so I said all, uh, all everything in this uh, in this slide. I can pass, I think, to another. So precisions. Uh, I think that I said almost all the things that were also in this in this uh, in this slide. So uh, so yes, I I, also, I already t talked about the Sato operator and. And uh, said that uh, uh, well, uh, it is a it is a necessary assumption for for uh, for uh, for the, for one proof or another, but not for everyone, for anyone, for any of the proofs. Uh, okay, so here again, I, I, there is a misprint, a misprint. This is not analyzing the second, but the first. That I mentioned. Uh, okay, so uh, so the choice of the algebra I mentioned it also too by, uh, with with uh, the question that you raised. Now I think that we can turn to examples. It will be nice, I think, for everyone to see what uh, what we can reach. So before. I have to recall Zakharov Shabbat equations. So these are uh, zero curvature equations. And uh, if we take uh, T1 and T2 uh, uh, as variables, we get the following uh, system. So you, you remark here that there is a bracket which is not in the classical, uh, which is not in the classical uh, theory because, of course, in the classical theory, the, the, the algebra function is, is commutative. 
And here uh, you you can remark also that u minus one is uh, on the right of d u minus one. Sorry, so before again, I proceed. Excuse me, just 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 to make something some, something clear. T L and T K. There are times which correspond to the Hamiltonians L to the power k and L to the power L. Right. Yes. Okay. So the the term Hamiltonian may be misleading here. A little bit, but actually this looks like the equation that two two vector fields commute. Yes. So yes. 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 Of course. <laughs> of course. Oh, yeah. see, since it is a, a zero curvature equation, it's, it's yeah. uh, it, <laughs> yes. <laughs> but uh, but warning about Hamiltonian because since we are in generalized settings. Uh, if you want Hamiltonian, you, you, you need to define a, a nice pairing. And the pairing uh, is really difficult to, to be oh. nice, to, to be nice, unless formally, of course. If you say a formal pairing, well, everything is possible. But uh, the, this is why I did not talk about the Hamiltonian part of, of, uh, of the theory. Because uh, it is uh, a point that is still in under consideration. We, we are we are also working on that, especially with uh, with Volodya, who who has good uh, good ideas on that. But we we are trying to to give a safe setting, which does not need formal assumptions, and it is very very difficult. So we, so I, I would like to avoid the word Hamiltonian, really. <laughs> so, uh, so here we we if we consider this system, we can produce a formal solution. Formal means that we only get a formal series, and uh, tri trivially the problem is well posed and so on. But so if we look at the classical uh, KP2 equation, it is a consequence of the system before if you, if you specialize it. And, uh, and uh, I have to precise for those who are not really familiar to, with these problems that uh, if you look at, uh, at, the, at the equation here, you, you remark uh, three independent variable t, x, and y, while the algebra A has only, uh, the, uh, uh, there is only S1. So uh, this means that we cannot reach all the solutions of KP2 equation because, <laughs> just because of, of the change of dimension of, of the of independent variables. So, uh, so I will pass from the KP hierarchy to the deduced KP2 equations in all, all along the rest of the talk. But the solution, we have to be aware that the solutions are formal and that we produce only a class of solutions. So, First example, uh, when uh, we consider the algebra Psi DU of S1, this is only a particular class of formal pseudo-differential operators. Why particular? Because uh, we, we already talked about that uh, in the questions, when you consider non-formal operators, you have to consider also pseudo-differential operators for which the square root of a positive Laplacian is under consideration. And this symbol, it is absolute value of psi. So it is not inside the of S1. Uh, to circumvent this problem, because this gives problems in, uh, in, uh, in spectral analysis, Kotsevich and Vichik uh, de defined uh, the class of odd class non-formal pseudo-differential operators, which excludes this, uh, this operator. And if you take the formal parts, 
then you get back psi d over s1 over s1. It is it is uh, it is the point. It is the the, the intuitive uh, motivation of their uh, of their definition, and it really helps for uh, the for uh, the theory of uh, of renormalized determinants and so on. So uh, if uh, so, this uh, this uh, this bigger class of uh, of formal uh, symbols, I call it here FCL of S1 because it is a, a, a class of symbols which is completed, let's say, by absolute value of, of Xi. Uh, how can we relate it to, the, to, to our work? Well, uh, this, uh, this symbol is quite easy to... to to deal with because when you look at the Dirac operator uh, on on S one, its its sign has a formal symbol which is xi over xi. That is, if you look at that, it is one for xi positive minus one for xi negative. It is the sign of xi exactly, and you can double the, the algebra. Like this, c infinity of s1 plus i uh, uh, sine of d, c infinity of s1. Then you can identify psi d of 1 with uh, fcl of s1. Why is it a, a nice setting? Because when you consider uh, j here, which is a composition by the uh, with uh, i uh, sine of d. It is in the center of the algebra. It is a, a small remark that I made a long time ago, but we reinvestigated with uh, with Volodya Rupstov, and we and we and we get an uh, an integrable, an almost complex structure. Uh, so the, uh, so there are uh, there are many consequences and. Uh, and we can and but I cannot sketch all the all the paper here, but I have to highlight that we get a well posed net for KP for a initial value which reads as uh, a decomposition uh, lambda d plus plus mu d, d minus. So mu and lambda are are complex parameters. Which are not vanishing uh, together, and uh, and we can apply all the all the stuff. So this is a, this is a, a first uh, a first setting when where it can be applied. I already mentioned uh, a, a, a KP hierarchy for non-formal pseudo differential operators. Okay, what. Uh, uh, what is missing here? Well, <laughs> it is a question by Boris Kessin. <laughs> we, we, we did not produce the corresponding KP equation. We forgot that. <laughs> Simply, we forgot. So, uh, so it would be interesting, of course, because uh, here we, we have a complementary to the, to, to the solution that we can produce without the imaginary part. There should be counter terms that may be interesting, and this is an integrable. Uh, this is a, an integrable equation. So, anyway, if you have a PhD student, maybe it's a, it's a good exercise for him. Another example. So here I will go to an example where we need diffeologies. Because before we did not need diffeology. C infinity of S1, it is a fresh space, there is no problem. Here I take smooth functions for Rn to Rn. So uh, there, is a, there is here a, a gap in the construction of, uh, of a topology of on C infinity of Rn. What is the gap? It is simply that uh, when you consider a, a Topology on it, 
then you need to build an increasing sequence of compact subsets to take the, the, the supremum norms of the, uh, of, the, of, the, of the derivatives to get a family of Frechet, uh, of, uh, of, uh, of, uh, of, uh, of semi-norms and so on. So, of course, this is a Frechet space, but when you look at this Frechet space, then uh, uh, here there are some problems of smoothness for integrating the, gra the, the, the derivation. So uh, it is better to, to consider it as, as, as a diffeological space. And in this setting, let's take uh, a, a non-standard uh, uh, non choice. I take the coordinate twice multiplication and uh, the derivation as a gradient. Then you can, you can make the, the, apply the, the formulas. And in these formulas, of course, you do not get the, 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 the equation that I have here. Not, not, uh, not only. But uh, working a little bit uh, more, uh, we can derive it from the from the, the kp hierarchy on this setting it is one of uh, the four uh, the four equations that we derived and uh, this looks like navier-stokes but it is not navier-stokes because we do not have vanishing divergence but anyway it's a, it's a remark that we made and Considering the problem of constraints, uh, in fact, we do not know how to deal with it, actually. It's a, it's yeah. a big problem. <clears throat> Sorry, what is two? What is, oh, two is the, <laughs> it is, a, <laughs> yes, it is a, the system. Uh -huh. It is this one. Ah, okay. Okay. So you see, uh, here in this square, you get you get the you get the, the, the Laplacian. Here you get uh, u nabla u, mm -hmm. and uh, and the equations here help to to change u minus one plus some parts of u minus two into h. Let's say, uh, roughly speaking, it's the problem. It's the point. But in order to do that. You need to be able to get a true integration on Rn from my, let's say, uh, roughly speaking, from minus infinity to plus infinity. So, so you need all the, the full, the full algebra. You know, you, you really need to, to, to avoid any, um, any, uh, compactly supported assumption or things like that. You see. So it is not clear that uh, this remark is is directly ad, uh, applicable for for uh, for Navier-Stokes. We do not know. We just have this remark. It is in our paper in the Journal of Mathematical Physics in 2021. Mm -hmm. Then let's go to Constraints. I said that before that we cannot deal with constraints. I will say now we can deal, but in some sense. So let's say let's take a differential equation on on uh, 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 red uh, on uh, on the, the the infinite dimensional manifold of in, of infinite jets, and take the, the the equation manifold, which is the the zero. Uh, a zero manifold of the, of the equation. So this uh, equation manifold, uh, it, uh, it, uh, uh, in order to deal with it, especially in the theory of differentities and so on, uh, you, uh, we, we usually consider locus on this equation manifold, which is, uh, which is let's say, an, an, an immersed manifold in the in the equation manifold, uh, in order to, to, to make safe differential calculations. So, 
but uh, the equation manifold uh, in in uh, in uh, very quickly when you look at the, the equations it has it has singularities so it is one uh, it is one point which had to be clarified and uh, we proposed uh, we proposed uh, uh, the theology which, which has nice properties for uh, for uh, for uh, for the equation manifold. In fact, for any uh, defiety, it's uh, it's possible to 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 produce a defiology which is which is nice under let's say uh, the technical assumptions. Such as uh, the existence of a Libra ket, but uh, on the, on the on the space of diffeomorphisms of uh, of, um, of the equation manifold. But let's say that it is possible to have a, a Vinogradov spectral sequence on on that uh, with diffeologies and, and and compatible with diffeologies. So uh, these diffeologies are a bit particular because the, if you remember, uh, a diffeology is defined by parametrization. And uh, there is another way to define smoothness. It is to define it by by the smooth maps from the manifold to R. And then uh, reflexive means that the two viewpoints are equivalent. So once we have done that, we can we can uh, we can define clearly what is smooth maps from the equation manifold to R. We take the, the, the algebra of function as, as this. You see, you need global properties, so it is why I need to, to talk about a diffeology. And then uh, take, uh, we take the, the classical differential, well, classical, the already defined differential, <laughs> DF. Uh, and uh, with this already defined differential, uh, there is a driven KP hierarchy on the, on the equation manifold. So here, uh, the driven KP hierarchy, you see, it depends on R on T for T, on the manifold M for X, and the, uh, the additional uh, uh, independent variable Y is an additional dimension. We, so with uh, with this, uh, there, it is a, another light, let's say, to the to the, the to the remark that I made before about the the, the, the additional dimension between x and x y. See, so it's a, it's a, it's a, it's. A, Accepted for publication in, Lobach, uh, in Lobachevsky. Okay, let's go to non-commutative algebras. Here I have made uh, a catalog, <laughs> let's say, because uh, in fact, when you look at the literature, there are uh, uh, there are still many uh, many non-commutative settings where it where uh, where KP is considered. So uh, first, the case of smooth functions with values in quaternions. It is uh, it is defined in a work in a work by uh, Macintosh and in the book by Cooper Schmidt. And uh, so again, uh, the, the equations are already stated. It uh, it involves some uh, some um, some determinants and so on in on the coefficients and well, we have we have recalled these uh, these uh, these uh, these equations on the, the the paper in Journal of Mathematical Physics that I already mentioned. And but. Uh, Again, we can we state well poseness. So here I have to remark to make a remark. It is non-commutative. So uh, the Sato operator uh, on, the, on the initial condition is difficult to get, and we and uh, 
in the actual state of what is published, uh, uniqueness is not totally proved, but it will be, we, it will, it will be proved soon again. After that, uh, when, uh, when we consider uh, um, a, a, differ uh, a, a differential algebra for which uh, d square equals to zero. So, uh, warning here, when I, when I say d square equals to zero, uh, it is not a graded dif uh, differential. Uh, it is a non-graded uh, one. So it does not apply to, let's say, the, uh, the Dura algebra. Uh, so we get a, a... yes. Yeah, I'd like to ask what is written here in this equation. What is mean here under the dy minus one? Uh, so it's a formal. Oh words. yes. <laughs> Yes, uh, it's uh, it's not a formal inverse because you remember that y is a is a variable in uh, uh, in R, so we can in, we can get an integration. It is uh -huh. just the integral. Okay, okay, okay. Thank you. Uh, yes, yes. Thank you. It's a it's a good point. Yes, thank you. So uh, anyway. Here, uh, uh, the, uh, the, uh, here, if you consider just d square equal to zero, uh, then uh, we have uh, we have uh, uh, another type of equation which we did not find in the literature. And yeah, so, this, sorry, but but here the algebra is the same. Right? So it's the algebra of functions. Uh, it's a, it's any any differential any algebra. Any, oh. al any differential algebra. Okay. So if you assume smoothness of all the algebraic objects, then you get this equation and you get that it is well posed. Mm -hmm. It is a very general thing. Okay. So in order to be uh, more pragmatic, let's take, uh, let's take the Moyal algebra. Mm -hmm. Uh, so it is. Uh, it is. Uh, it was already in investigated by Hamanaka, who got mm -hmm. this uh, equation, and well, so this equation is uh, all, is also smooth. Let's say well, a more uh, exotic example. Take a as itself. The Algebra of pseudo differential operators with coefficients in a formal series in R. Uh, there is a derivation which is uh, inner, and we get the and we get uh, the, the the system that that is here. So uh, there are some. Uh, some similarities with uh, with existing uh, existing equations in the literature, but uh, let's say that there, uh, in, these are only simil similarities. That is, uh, in uh, in the literature, there, there are some uh, there are some uh, some equations which look as it is, but this is a this is a free version of uh, of uh, of the uh, of the equations. Uh, let's say uh, may, uh, it it looks like a, a master a master equation in which uh, in which x is is now the formal uh, variable of of series. So uh, again uh, again uh, I I. I let you remark the uh, the bracket and uh, the simplifications too that uh, that we that we got. Here there is there is no longer uh, there is no longer d square in the, in the second line, but only uh, but only d cube and d because of the simplifications. 
Oh, there is a mini sprint here. It it but it needs to be uh, here. Okay, so uh, I could give uh, other examples uh, also, but uh, but I think that I have to highlight two uh, very recent papers by other uh, people. Uh, first, uh, first, uh, first work by Prikarpatsky, Pukach, and Wolfk. I don't know how to pronounce, but I think it's like that. They consider uh, a KP hierarchy with coefficients in uh, trace, trace class operators. And then they derive we derive some spectral properties and spectral reductions, spectral measures, with the help of, of this, uh, of this uh, procedure. So this is a, a non-commutative setting. The, it is a, it is a, uh, the, the, the coefficient space is a Banach space uh, with respect to an infinite product. Uh, again, I, I have to make a short remark. Uh, it is not because the coefficients are in the Banach space that the groups that under consideration are Banach Lie groups, or the decomposition, because of the constraints. Uh, they, they, are, they are not open in the, in the, in the countable product of, uh, of coefficients. So we really need uh, diffeology to make uh, to make safe differentiation. Uh, second work produced by uh, Anaita Eslamirad, who also uh, uh, collaborated with us in some uh, in some parts of our, of our works. She she considered. Uh, B algebraids and Hopf algebras, and, and uh, he had a, re re a motivation, a reinterpretation for the construction of the, Mo the Moyal KP hierarchy uh, in a sense that he is deriving uh, this, uh, this hierarchy from, um, from arguments. Uh, of uh, of deformation, I mean that the deformation is not assumed first, and then since we have the deformation of the algebra, then we apply the KP hierarchy to and so on. But uh, the deformation comes comes at a later uh, at a later at a later step of the investigations. So it it, uh, it may mean that. We we do not know really uh, what happens with this uh, Moyal KP hierarchy. It seems to be more deep than one example among others. It's it may produce some uh, it may produce some higher structures. Let's say or I don't know, but it's I think that it is worth to to mention it. So. Uh, I, I have to thank you for the invitation and for your attention and for your questions and maybe for your future, future questions. Uh, the main references are very large because it's a long, uh, it is a long standing, a long term program, you see, and yeah. uh, not finished. Thank you for your attention. Yes, thank you very much. Uh, <clears throat> I have one additional question about uh, the examples of non-commutative algebras. Uh, could yeah. you please uh, tell us what are the references for these examples? Ah, yeah. okay. Yeah. So the references you have you have them uh, 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 you have them almost all in the Journal of Mathematical Physics 2022. Mm. 
and uh, there is a uh, there is a, uh, the, the first paper in, uh, that I mentioned here in 2017. It is a it is a big paper where, where we state integration on on these uh, on these non commutative things in a, in a very large setting. But all the examples you find them in journal in the paper in journal of mathematical physics. Okay, thank you. So very nice. <laughs> it's very Thank interesting you. talk. Thank you for, for this beautiful review. Now the situation becomes much more clear for me. <laughs> and oh, uh, so I'm glad of that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, it's actually uh, uh, the idea to invite you. So, yeah. 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 <laughs> so, we, I do, but I don't have that detailed questions. I have just general impression that you seem to have some uh, clue to as to constructing some commutative subalgebras and non-commutative algebras, right? When you work with um, these KP hierarchies in uh, Moyle product, for instance, algebra, do you get some commutative subalgebras there? Is this impression correct? Because I'm, mm. not, um, I'm not an expert in uh, subtle uh, <laughs> uh, Grassmannian and other things like that, but I have this impression that the equations you get, they look like equations of commutativity for certain elements. You're right. Mm -hmm. You're right, but uh, it is more or less related to uh, to a construction which uh, which we which we are looking for. We are we are looking for a construction of the stato Grassmannian on uh, on this general setting. And it is uh, uh, it is a, a big problem. Once we have that, we have the, the commut. This will become commu co equations of commutator. Mm -hmm. I agree. But uh, the, the, in fact, the problem is the same. For example, for topological recursion, mm -hmm. the problem uh, it's exactly the same problem. The uh, the, the, uh, the, the Grassmannian is missing. Mm -hmm. And uh, what? Maybe, maybe when we will be more smart and more efficient, we will be able to produce one. But <laughs> now, <laughs> till now, we cannot. Thanks. Yeah, thanks. They... Uh, could you please send us your presentation? Yeah, sure. 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 Thank you very much. Hmm. Okay. So, are there any other questions or comments? Maybe I, I just think maybe Sasha or well, I don't think that young people have some comments, but I think Sasha might have comments. Yeah, it is. It is. It is interesting in the context of the KP theory because I I tried also to read your papers uh, because. Uh, I also try to generalize some of Molas's works about the KP, but to higher dimensions. And by that reason, I was interested uh -huh. in your yeah, papers. Yeah, and uh, it, it, but it's a little bit another direction. So you can see the, the same dimension. I mean, there's the same KP hierarchy, but with different uh, types of algebras, with different. Uh, additional structures on it, uh, namely this ecological structures. But however, uh, I see this, that it's a really interesting project. You uh, have many interesting question, questions. Uh, Thank you. Yeah. In fact, we, we were also thinking about uh, higher dimensional KP. So yeah. you know that there, there, are, uh, there, there, exi there, there still exists. Uh, you, you, in, if you consider the the standard KP equation, yeah. uh, you add uh, uh, u z z and u minus and so on, and uh, there are higher KP equations. But the the problem with the KP hierarchy is that uh, we uh, the the why why. Really uh, is really a consequence of 
of the of the of a zero curvature. So if you want to to get uh, higher KP, what 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 would be the, the clue? Uh, you can say that X is is more than one dimensional, but if you get X as more one one dimensional, then uh, what about the derivation? You need more derivations, right? So the so the, the initial conditions. Uh, what would what what do you say about that? Second, uh, well, second yeah, approach. Yeah, yeah. Second yeah, yeah, yeah. approach. You are right. Yeah. Uh, so well, uh, you are right. So I I, I try to <coughs> I, I I try to study this uh, <coughs> hierarchy hierarchies introduced by Parson mm -hmm. uh, in some earlier works, and uh, there is the same Lux form and. Then I try to um, uh, search the corresponding set of Wilson hierarchy. So it seems to be better suited for different uh, tasks. For example, for extending the standard KP theory to higher dimensions. But unfortunately, I didn't. Uh, I didn't make a, a lot of efforts on studying it. So I did use some strange equations. Involving uh, formal um, differentiations or like as a variable, so it, it obtains several strange equations on non-commutative operators. But however, <laughs> I don't know what is mm. this, but it's 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 maybe interesting. So I need to 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 do research further. So I don't and I don't know any books uh, who tried to research. Who tries to study the system from that point of view? Mm -hmm. There were some um, uh, papers written by uh, some Korean guy like Min Ho Lee and Priviata wrote one or two papers about that. But, uh, well, also, well, they, they did uh, something, but not, 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 maybe not very deep things. So, so up to now, it's an open question. What can one say about this hierarchy and uh, yeah. the relations to any Grassmannian? First of all, in higher dimensions, there are no appropriate generalization of a Sata Grassmannian. Uh, so, so there are some constructions that can be uh, generalized, but uh, there are many questions up to now. And I had a very old preprint mm -hmm. where I also, also <laughs> stated this. Uh, <laughs> Well, well posedness. Well, not well posedness, but I, I just generalized this molasses result. That I proved that this Sato Wilson generalized Sato Wilson hierarchy has a unique solution in a formal uh, power series ring. So yeah. it's possible to do, but other parts of this history up to now are hidden. Yeah, I don't know if. If you if you have seen that paper, or this preprint, maybe I have heard I have heard about it. Yeah, no, yeah. I did it's, not it's look at old, it, but yeah, yeah, it's yeah. a very old preprint from two thousand five, where mm. sta where we started to to study papers by Mulasa and try to generalize this KP uh, KP theory to higher dimensions. And uh, up now I tried to continue this this program too, but um, I can say more about the classification of commutative uh, rings of operators than uh, about the uh, generalizations of KP hierarchy. Also, mm -hmm. it seems to me that uh, there should be some connection. In, in particular, I think that probably this uh, I suspect of deformations of commuting differential operators may produce some kind of solutions to that uh, generalized KP hierarchy or subtle Wilson system. So in that yeah. sense, that is, but of course there are many questions which are still open. Need to be... uh, may, may I ask a question? Yes. Uh, you know that uh, the theory of integrable systems is related to a, a zero curvature condition. Right. Uh, you know also that 
there exists higher curvatures for higher connections. Is there an existing theory of higher integrable systems? Taking, for example, uh, the curvature of a germ, mm -hmm. which would be a free form and not a two form. Mm -hmm. Well, just wonder whether is, there is any further generalization. I have heard ah. definite uh, job curvatures, but germ curvatures, but about further. Sorry, just. Uh, Never heard about further coverage so, uh, from 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 that point of view. Um, there is, of course, something called super connections and their coverage as well. Maybe this will be suitable. I'm not sure. But, but uh, super connections. Uh, it, if I if I have good memory, it was uh, already considered by uh, by Mula. They did, did he? Okay, I don't know. I'm not an expert in Molasses' work. So okay. I just uh, look at this from some geometric point of view. I know that it is used in topology, in, topology, in geometry, in, uh, I don't know, things like that. But as far as its, its application to differential hierarchies, that's probably such as domain. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Have you heard about this being applied to something like that, Sasha? No, no. Um... Because, as I said, uh, well, I need to return to that question. But now I try to complete the story with uh, classification of commuting operators. It's uh, also interesting and hard task. Uh, but sure. still, <laughs> but still, but still, I'm interested in uh, continuing this uh, this business. That is why. Uh, I want to understand your works in particular. Well, but have you seen about uh, any generalization to uh, higher dimensions or high integral systems? Uh, in fact, generalizations for higher dimensions. I had to, I had to 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 make a report for a, for a, for a physics journal for for a paper on it. But to my opinion, well, of course, it is, it is a system. It has to be integrated and so on. OK, no problem. But, uh, but uh, the, uh, I feel that these generalizations are very naive. Mm -hmm. Because, uh, as I said before, they just add a, add a supplementary uh, a dimension and, may, and put a Laplacian on it, and that's all. Uh, the clue should not be there. I think that well, it's, it may uh, it's it can be it can be uh, uh, you you can uh, you can think that it is interesting, of course, because if you consider the, the first application to uh, of uh, of KP KP equation, it is it is it is uh, for uh, for traveling waves and and slow dissipation. So. Slow dissipation in the y direction. If you add another direction, you also want slow dissipation. So you add a Laplacian and that's all. You see, uh, formally it's, uh, formally it's coherent. Uh, well, but after that, I don't see the, the interest. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, okay. Okay. So I think it's still we're just it's just quite high time to finish this and um, yeah I I, I like the, the fact the discussion was pretty fruitful in my opinion so I hope it will continue <laughs> um, yeah so but this but today I think it's time for us to stop the yeah. uh, the, the, yeah. the seminar and let us thank our speaker again for a wonderful talk pretty very interesting and um, I think quite um, not just interesting but I think also useful for the young people and for old people as well <laughs> <laughs> okay. people could learn something new and old people could reminisce about something they did in their youth right right Sasha 
right? Okay, uh, so thank you very much for your talk again, and uh, let us convene next time. Uh, I don't know if it will be next um, Tuesday because I will be making a talk at Beamset at that time. I'm not sure I will be back in Beijing by the time of the conference, but we shall see. Okay, in any case, I'll send all the information on weekend. Thank you again and goodbye, everybody. Bye. Goodbye and Bye. and thank you again for the invitation. Uh, if you want, I just uh, I can uh, keep you uh, in the list of this seminar if you want. Oh yes, 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 yes. Please. Okay, in the mailing list. Okay. Okay. Bye bye. Bye. Bye.